It's been already months since our adventure in Taiwan, but the trip left an everlasting impression to us. So far you've seen the hardening, you've seen the internal kung fu, but we also got acquainted with the combat applications of the traditional monkey kung fu. Prior to these demonstrations, we did a grueling conditioning circuit with the students of Jiang Yushan. This was the warm-up, but it sure felt like a full workout. Finally, the master showed up. We started to train wrestling and grappling moves and saw how it hardened limbs. Even many locks and chokes became more effective and deadly. Then it was time to bite the dust. First different approach is like this. Boom. Yeah. It goes like here. Yeah. Show you again. Here is acupuncture point and I press down and actually my knee is already there. Yeah. The knee, when I do, I do like this actually. This is the move in monkey go. Yeah. You stand like this. Yeah. And from yeah. here you go like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like this and then you do this. And then you do this. Yeah. Okay, but this is different because I will hold the yeah, shoulder. Sure. Sure. This is from here, this is the knee, and then go pop, and here, and the pop again. Yeah. This goes to the arteria, okay. and this goes to the chest. Like from here, yeah. and then you do this. And then, okay, this is actually the technique. Or even I go like this, and then I do like this. Okay? Arteries push. Not push, hammering here. Show? You're here, you go here, knee inside, and from here, come close. From here, hop, it's here inside, and then it goes to the chest. Yes. Okay? This one, this one, huh? and I'm already here inside. This one, and I'm already here. Show again, yeah, for your angle, okay? It's like this, it's already open, and here. And if I, if I want to rip more, then I go I go more, I go more. Okay, for example, back. Up. You can't do anything, you can't kick, but what you can do is, you can release, yeah? And look, Pop. And here you go. Yeah? And very good. Yeah. No? You can go like this. No? If I turn here, it will hammer me. Oh, okay? But I don't know. I want to be here. Look at this. This is here. Huh? I show again. Oh. First, I release. Then I go away from the point of danger, huh? and I pull. And then, come out. Huh? This is the effect, this is like, bang, here's the break. Okay, and the, and the move is like that. Another one? I have a lot. Okay, <laughs> different application. Huh? Okay, you hold again here. Okay, here's the gap. Here you can put your head in front. Don't man talk. This, this opens and this goes. Hammer, hammer the head. Hammer the head in front of his body. Chest, face, doesn't matter. Show again. Huh? Or like this, I only pull up and down. And I'm here. And now from here, I can go like this. Finish. Okay, do it. See? Like here, I'm controlling. Yeah. I can pull. Yeah. Okay. But I like this. From here, and I control. Oh. Finish. Different angle all possible. Yeah. From here. Yeah. And hammer. This hand goes here, and I break the neck. 
like this. This is the move. Like this. Da? Whatever. Okay. Both hands. Yeah. Both hands. I'm turning. I'm grabbing and I'm already inside. <laughs> okay. And always. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Another throw. He grab, I grab. Okay, he grab, I do. I take the notch. Yeah? Yeah. He release. Look at this. Yeah. It's already done. Now I can manipulate. Okay, now I'm in the same area. Yeah? I'm good. I have two hands. Okay? Here. Mm -hmm. This point. Okay? This point. Yeah? You function now, you go in and then you squeeze and you grab. That's why in ancient time, if you face a monkey gong fu man, he will rip off your ear, your eye, your crotch. Yeah? Or you hammer you to death. You do hold something. Something. Yeah? Okay. He's holding. I do the same. Look at this. I can't do anything. First is my head. Ooh. Then is the stomp. Then is the break. Hop. Like this only. I hold my belly and I break. Hop. That's it. Okay? And if I want to go away. Yeah? Okay. Again. So first is this. First is the head. Yeah? Then is the stomp. Then I control the arm and then the elbow. Look. The elbow will be like this. Okay? It's like this. It's like this. Yeah? The elbow technique will come like that. Yeah? That's before I want to show. If I have the chance. I don't care. Different, different application. Much more easier for me. First you make them soft. Yeah? Then you open the hand. Then you take what you want. Very easy to escape. Yeah? He hold very tight, very fat firm. I can't do anything. I'm still here. Yeah? He's very tall. First kick what you need. Yeah? Yeah? And then you can bring him down. Now you can bring him down. So many different ways. I like to smash people, of course. First kick. Yeah. <laughs> I like to smash people. <laughs> Dang. Yeah? How oh, heavy? 80. 80 something kilo. Still possible to lift. Yeah. Okay? Because because when you grab from here, from this point, he will come already lighter. <laughs> yeah? He become already lighter. Okay? Yeah. So you can you can lift somebody. Yeah. So you got this? Okay, here we go. This is the good one. The first one I do is very close. I bite. I bite the color in here. Yeah? And then I step. Yeah? You hold. Okay, now it's closer. You see? From here, very easy. I let I drop him down. I grab. Yeah? Very easy. Okay? Everything count in fighting, no? yeah. even some takedowns. Takedowns are important. You need to know how to punch, kick, throw, grapple, like chinna. Okay? Yeah. And ramming. Ramming I already showed. No? Okay, you do some, whatever. Okay. Ramming move is like I use my complete body. My complete body weight. Look at this. I go here. Then I roll. Nice. Go away. I roll like that. I grab, cut his hand and I roll. This is how I use my body weight. Yeah? I just got here. No? Huh? I, I just was here. And what I'm doing now, I, I lift and roll over his body, but I take this with me. Mm -hmm. I don't let go. Okay? Yeah? Like this is the roll. So that's why people don't understand when they see monkey kung fu. Ah. Wah. 
why they roll? Huh? Why they roll? This is one part why they roll. Okay? Oh. We are in fighting move. Huh? I look up. And I got what I want. I got this point. The hard point is directly here. If he's wearing uh, slippers or something, I attack this. If not, I will attack the crotch. Or I will take down, uh, take him, take the legs. Come. Over. Because punch, red. Okay. Here. Here I use. <laughs> yeah, if you be, don't hurt yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. You see, this kind of technique, all what you know is like this and that. This is basic monkey boxing. Yeah? Now it becomes I boxing, kick boxing, okay, one. Well, I don't know. Okay? Yeah. So when I'm here, you. I block with my elbow. Yeah. I try to block with my elbow. Okay. That's where. Okay. I look here and I kick there. No, it's like you come, you do something. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Oh, don't hit you. Look at this. From here, companies are the other side. Other side direction. Yeah? I control one hand, so I'm okay. Wrist lock is good, because then I have half control of himself. Yeah? The other hand, lift the elbow. You see that? Yeah? This is elbow lift, okay? And then I can, I can go from elbow lift to the mm. choke, body choke, yeah? or even this triangle, arm choke. Yeah? <laughs> And if I want to let him down, I crush his face on the floor, like that, <coughs> like this. Good. Okay, this is only head crushing. Huh? The other movement is when he comes. I don't care. Like this and then look at this. This one. Bang. The next head. The head also will be crushed. Yeah. It will be like this. Oh, like that. Okay? Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Look, I give you only this kind of small, you will go this way. Uh, hop! Here it is. Yeah. It is very easy, it's like that. Yeah. The application will be this thing. Now, like this. Here. Will be enough for. It's like pack. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Here. Finish. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's a gift, no? Yes. So, the others, yeah, if we you do a punch, no? Like, now, grab one. Okay? This, yeah? I'm here. Here. Here, you see? I'm here. Here, here. And then I go up. I go up to the face, no? now he's not moving, but everybody can be Superman, huh? Okay, but I don't care, I will go also like this. Good. Thank you very much. Okay, you attack, no? I show you another move. Normally, when you see martial art movements or something on YouTube, you can see somebody attack and somebody do the special moves, yeah? And you do. Like this, I'm already, no, 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 no. Uh, this goes already in the ribcage, this one, yeah? but I didn't hit you, no, no, no. okay, good, no, no, no. Yeah? so even, even people, they say, you punch straight, yeah? you do a straight punch, and they do, yeah? and another one, yeah? they always do the same movement, you know, yes. like they, they come here, they come here, whatever, no? like, I don't want to say some different style, but we have Indonesian style, and Hong Kong style, so, they always have application with a straight punch. Even Brunei style, always application. Nobody punched with a straight punch. <laughs> There's nobody in the fight. And I, okay, I fight in competition. It's very seldom you, you face a guy, he, he attacks you with a straight punch. They attack you from different angles. You know? But for application and for the beautiful of martial art, we do the same. Like this, like it. Here we break. This this is the break like here, yeah? and then and then we go further. Look, 
I break here, I punch here, uh, and then I bring him down, I grab the head, uh, and then I look pretty in application. But my experience is also looks pretty in combat, in combat sport competition. Mm. And mostly other people, I don't care what they are doing. I already go through the combat applications in tournaments. Okay? And in tournaments, a lot of things doesn't work. But some principles there work. When if you attack, you're a wrestler, wrestler. You, yeah? you can apply a technique. Huh? Uh -huh. That's good. Yeah. And in other sports, <laughs> sport martial art, yeah. then you're here, or even you can kick. You need to be aware that she doesn't bite. Can you bite? But no, I can't bite. So, but some people can bite, no? So we prevent this. So we take this, and then we pull it. Yeah. This is between military combat, sport competition. Yeah, they're a big different. Mm. Not, and not every military combat is effective. Yeah? You need to practice a lot, or you must be lucky. So, even I do some crossing hands with you, you cross the hands, yeah? and then we do this kind of trapping, clap this hand, uh, yeah, or you block it, and then we do this. It's also very pretty. Show again, cross your hands. Yeah, good, this is nice, but I like to add a little bit some break movements inside. Yeah? This makes myself a little bit much more comfortable because if I got something, I don't let go. Okay, and fighters not always have distance. If you're a fighter, you want to close the distance and you will attack. Yeah? If you join the competition or fight competition. You want to attack and you want to do our stuff. Okay? So, the other thing is, I have all these kind of material. I have the iron hand, I have the fingers, I have the leg, I have the iron shirt. This doesn't mean I can use it on competition or not. Yeah? This only protect myself. Sport competition is still a sport. You don't want to kill somebody in this sport competition. So sometimes you hold yourself back, like myself. Okay? But if you can apply, like what we did just now, if you can apply an eye poke or something, the dangerous stuff, you also can apply some easy boxing basics and kicking basics so that you can show that you have good reaction, you have good speed, you have a good timing, and the most important is you have the heart to be a fighter. Okay? Yes. The rest, technique and skill comes at least. No? First you need to have a heart, then you need to have a power, and skill come, comes at last. No? Okay? If you have a question, let me know. Hmm? I'm good. We're good. Yeah, it's okay. No? I talk a lot, no? <laughs> Man. Yeah. Yes. Since leaving Taiwan, our episodes of The Secrets of Monkey Kung Fu got lots of attention, views and comments. The Heart and Bone episode stood out from the rest. Many found it entertaining, but it also raised plenty of questions, concern and criticism. Here's my take on some of the comments. Hey guys, greetings from the new headquarters of WAF Fitness. Uh, this is now where we settle down. We call it the War Room. And the video that you just saw is a follow-up for the three episodes, the previous episodes of The Secrets of Monkey Kung Fu. Uh, this was a crazy adventure, life-changing experience. Highly recommend to check those previous episodes if you haven't seen them before. Uh, but in this video, well, I want to give you some updates because first of all, it's been a long time since all that happened. And, you know, I'm going to let you know some things. People had some concern, for example, about the heart and bone. I'm going to tell you what were the after effects. I'm um, also going to answer some of the comments that the heart and bone video got. There was a lot of uh, criticism. There was people, you know, who didn't like what we were doing as well. And just overall, well, things that I want to clear out. And then, just recently, I also started, with Samuel, we started MMA training gonna give you probably a rundown on that as well, how it's been there, uh, what are our plans. But so, first of all, you know, the, the hardening stuff that we did, I think many had concerns about like the, the what, it, what will it do in the long term, like 
because it was very excruciating, it was very extreme as well. I think it was pretty extreme. And, but the thing is that we healed really well, there's no complications, no like negative health, health effects so far, and we actually continue doing it at the moment on our own. And this has been good because we're able to do it on our own, with our own pace. And I would say, honestly, I would say that it was in some way, it was really good that what we did in there, but it was somewhat a little bit extreme because right now we're doing it like about once in two weeks and it seems to be producing good results with that way without causing like any sort of really huge pains or anything like that. Uh, the forearms feel pretty hard. We also do it for the shin bone. You know, my right forearm, it took quite a long time to actually heal from it. Uh, but for example, the, the shins that you saw, which is maybe the most painful part, it really didn't cause much else. It's very easy healed, everything didn't, you know, no bumps left in the bone and so on. And just feels, feels more solid overall. So we're getting good results. We're still continuing it. And, you know, what can I say about the long-term results? Jiang Yushan, Taiwan's Monkey Kung Fu Master, who showed it, who showed us the, the toughening techniques, has been doing it for years, for decades actually, and he hasn't, he doesn't have any negative effects from it either, except maybe some, they look a little bit swollen, but we are not planning to go to that extreme, so we're not probably going to ever use like a, like metal of, of, to, to hit our bones. We're just going to stick into the bone, maybe sand later. So that was one thing. Uh, another thing, by the way, arthritis, many were like, you're going to get arthritis. We don't hit the joints, we hit the bones. So this does not damage the joint area. Some comments were also kind of saying how useless uh, it is to actually harden your bone because, well, you know, it's not going to make you a better fighter and you are not fighting, so why are you doing it? But as I said, we are, in, we are doing MMA. We're very serious about it, by the way. We don't just go actually to practice it. We train here as well in this. As you can see, there's some boxing gloves. We got pads, we got mitts, we've ordered some tatami here, so we can do wrestling. We're taking it very seriously and we are going to fight, you know, in the cage. Might take one year to really prepare properly for it, but that's uh, what's in the future. So the other thing is that, yes, you know, having hard limbs will not do anything if you don't know how to fight. That is the, that's the case. If you don't, uh, you know, if you don't have the, all, all, all the rest of the stuff, you get, you know, the basic fighting skill, the hard, hard limbs are not going to do anything for you. That is just simply the case. And another thing is, you know, all these fancy Kung Fu things that you might have, uh, none of that matters without, you know, this, this sort of actual ability to fight. But again, the MMA skills and these things don't matter either if you don't have the physique for it. And this is something I think is missing from some people who think they can just go and sort of imitate these MMA skills or fighting skills without the proper physique because many of the fighting skills actually they require a certain level of athleticism. They are based on a certain athletic attributes and if you don't have a particular strength or mobility you can't do it, you can't practice those skills. This is something you gotta also remember and this is for example if I had done MMA years ago I probably I think I'd be in a lot of pain because these practices are hard and I think I'd be in a lot of pain. I'd be risking serious injury. So, but because, you know, over the years I've done so much the training that's in the Athlete 20XX, Movement 20XX, this is a training that we actually in Athlete 20XX was specifically designed for martial arts sports to prepare your body for that kind of hard training. So you don't get imbalanced and, and you get just, you can withstand all that really demanding the stuff that happens there. So the next thing is about all Kung Fu is bullshit. This, there's many people who've actually, I think, have been led now to believe that, you know, anything you attach to Kung Fu, it's, it's you know, it's like a, what is it, like, a, they're trying to trick you or something like this. And in many cases, I think this is very justifiable. There's, there are reasons for this because there are Kung Fu, so-called Kung Fu, Kung Fu masters who get into these fights with MMA fighters, Muay Thai fighters, and what happens is they always get beaten up. So, you know, and people laugh at these videos of these martial art, traditional martial artists who like have this dead touch and, and like without touching punches, people, all kind of like crazy, absolute nonsense. 
But there is actually, and, and this is, so a lot of the Kung Fu that's out there is bullshit, I'd say so. It's based on tricks, it's stunts, it's the theoretical, there's nothing pra practical about it, it's not related to fighting. So how can you fight with it? It's not about fighting, it's about a show. But there is also real Kung Fu that exists and this is just harder to find. Um, one of the reasons is that during the time when Mao was in China, they actually they forbid these martial arts because they're pretty you know, dangerous. They're actually, they were for fighting, they were for like killing people, causing a lot of damage. So these people, these martial artists, the masters there, they were either they were killed or vanished or I don't know, they were forbid to do their art. So many of them then fled to their neighboring countries like Malaysia, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan. So Taiwan is where we met Jiang Yusheng, who actually studied there with these old masters. He's originally from Germany. But so you gotta look for it really, but it does exist. Now another thing about this is that you're like, well, because nowadays MMA is like the standard for everything. It's like if you're not good in MMA, then you're not a, you're not a fighter, you know. But the thing is, MMA is a sport and you can take, it doesn't matter if it's Kung Fu, it can be a Muay Thai fighter. Take a Muay Thai fighter, put him into the cage with the, with the MMA rules. In an MMA fight, he's going to lose. You know, if you take an MMA fighter, you take, put him into a Muay Thai fight with the Muay Thai rules, the MMA fighter is most likely going to lose. Unless, you know, there's always exceptions. But this is the general case. You can't take people from one sport, put them to another, expect them to do well without specifically training for that sport. MMA has very specific rules. It's a very specific situation where you get to study your opponent, do these things. It's not a, like a pure martial art. Pure martial arts has no rules. There is no, no referee. There's nothing like this. So MMA is a sport. And if you are like a martial artist with a huge ego and you think you can do well in MMA without actually practicing, just go there and think like you have these Kung Fu skills, you know, it's, it's not going to end up well. And you're going to notice, you're going to be humbled very quickly. So this is another thing. It's not about just Kung Fu. Any martial arts that you take outside of your sport, if you haven't practiced for uh, whatever you are going to compete, you're not going to do well. So people need to learn a way to apply the martial art. There are people who've done this successfully. Luota Mashida, uh, Conor McGregor used this karate style, for example. Uh, Bei Chi Chi used to be, you know, something was, was odd. It was a traditional martial art. Now everyone does it in MMA. So there's always, you can, you can have this sort of X factor with this thing, like the hardening the limbs. They're not, as I said, they don't do anything if you don't know how to fight. But if you do everything else, then, you know, yeah, hard limbs, forearms, especially the shin bones can be quite an advantage. Another thing that popped out in the, in the hardened bone video comments was, was from Muay Thai practitioners who basically, uh, I don't know if, what to call them, kind of like purtist or, or just, they weren't really happy about, you know, it doesn't make any sense. I think it was so weird to be angry about us doing this kind of traditional Kung Fu hardening because uh, according to them, the only right way to harden your bones is to do it Muay Thai style, basically just kick heavy back uh, all day long. And we do that as well, but it gives a different style of hardness. It really does. Uh, it both of them work for sure, but if you speed with the stick, it gives a completely different type of thing. And we experienced this with Jiang Yusheng, like his, you don't get that kind of arm or leg or shin by just kicking a back. He's using these elements. He used, first you use the, the wood, then you use, you know, the earth, it's like sand, for example, then you could go to a sand rock, granite, for example, then you go to the metal. So whatever element you use, that is the sort of toughness that you can then apply to your opponent. So this is very different from, from using just the leather back to harden your bones. And it's also very absurd because Muay Thai has similar stuff that we showed in the videos, like rolling your shins. I think they use sticks, uh, glass bottles and stuff like this. They kick a tree. So it, it's, it's complete nonsense to try to be like, uh, be so insecure that every, uh, every other style is wrong. I think Muay Thai is great, the style is great. And I, I do that type of training as well, the hardening as well. But I do also other type of things and I keep my mind open. So that's all. Uh, I think, yeah, those are all the points that I wanted to go through that really came out in the, from the Heart and Bone video. Um, and as I said, I really highly recommend to check all those three episodes. They were very good. I think you might learn a lot. 
uh, about Kung Fu, also about internal Kung Fu. This is something I didn't go through here. Also a thing that really, I think, all these MMA guys who talk bullshit or, or think M uh, Ching Kung Fu is bullshit and just like uh, uh, the internal Kung Fu is actually something that they overlook completely. And this is why people also get a lot like injuries because they never train in that internal way. It's all about performance, all about hard training, which it should be. You need that to fight, but it's for the, it's for the short term then. I know, yeah, one, one more thing about the MMA. So we've been going to the beginner class. It's been, it's been great. I feel like in a very short period of time, get, you just gain this experience that you wouldn't gain otherwise. This is another thing. I think most traditional martial arts, what they miss is what we've already been through. For example, the practice, if it's very kind of hard, we don't do the stand-up sparring yet, but we do, for example, wrestling sparring. I think wrestling sparring, really like going for it, rough and tumble. You, you know, you can't train for it, you can't prepare for it any other way than actually doing, doing the thing. It's, by the way, it's also like a, in some ways, it's a it's form of toughening training. You can just know this, like afterwards, you have these bruises in your legs, in your chest, rib cage. So it's rough and I, it's great to know this, like, my training that it, it does it does help a lot. I felt really good there. Everything's gone really smoothly. Although the the conditioning's not there yet. You know the wrestling really uh, takes out the breath. It's getting better all the time, but very challenging. Man, enjoying it so much, man. They do a lot of animal walks there as well. So I'm gonna keep you updated on on everything that's gonna happen there. We'll keep fighting, and you guys stay strong. See you soon. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe because that's what really tells us what kind of content you'd like to see perhaps in the future. But it also helps us tremendously to spread our message. There's also, we got something really good for you in the description. This is a free mobility routine to get you strong and mobile. There's thousands of users. Many have found this very effective, have gotten amazing results out of it. And also in the description, there is a link to the related article. This is a very extensive article that takes you to the deep to the nature of training. And there's always something very additional uh, information about these videos. So highly recommend to check those out. That's it guys. Stay strong.